It was once one of the city's most popular shopping destinations, but today Socky Hall Street is a shadow of its former self. And by the end of the month, it will lose another big name retailer as M&S closes its flagship store. I hate to see town centres going downhill the way Glasgow is. And I think part of the problem is that people don't care for it anymore. Uh, this is the first time we've been in yeah. uh, up here, but I'm Quite shocked at the number Quite of uh, empty places. It's very sad. Yeah. I think it used to be that golden Z. It's not anymore, it's a dog leg if you're lucky, because even on Buchanan Street you're seeing quite a difference as well. Jamie used to own a successful mobile phone shop in a prime location on the street, but high rents coupled with fewer shoppers mean he's moved his business to govern. A lot of the big names when they left, it was just becoming hopeless for us, um, and now the street's just slowly, slowly declining. Um, with Marks and Spencer's leaving, um, it's, it's, it's a massive business that, that brought a lot of trade here, um, and as I said, it's just become to a point where it is exhausting, and, and you, you don't see a future in Suckill Street without the big names like that um, staying here. A quick walk along the street shows the challenges it faces. Despite investment in cycle lanes and pedestrianisation, Bars, shops and cafes have left or been closed. On average, along its 1.1 kilometre length, a store lays empty every 25 metres on Socky Hall Street. No one is going to try and deny that Socky Hall Street is going through a serious challenge at the moment. It's been probably the most unlucky street in the city centre. A couple of fires, uh, which I'm sure will make up some of your empty units. Uh, then, of course, the onset of online shopping, which has been building for some time, and then the loss of some mid-market brands. And yeah, Saudi Hall Street's really looking uh, challenged just now. No argument about that whatsoever. Glasgow City Council have announced a £2 million rescue plan for the city centre, focusing on bringing a cafe culture as well as repurposing empty premises. It will also give travel discounts to encourage people to come into the town. But for many on Socky Hall Street, this is a rescue plan that can't come soon enough. Ollie Dickinson, STV News, Glasgow.